Hey, what's going on everybody? I am Woodraptor78 and welcome to this unboxing video. This is the brand new Xbox Series S Carbon Black 1TB Edition and I'm very excited. I say new because this came out yesterday, September 1st, 2023. Hoping I can get it uploaded today, September 2nd, 2023. Just look at it. The box is amazing and everything. Here you have the console standing up and then back here, uh, power your dreams. And then over here, here are the, I don't know if you guys could see that, which is just like the original S that came out in 2020. Gaming up to 120 frames per second, Xbox velocity architecture. The one big difference, other than the color, carbon black, is it's a one terabyte solid state drive, not 512, which we will talk about. Variable refresh rate, which is really cool, high dynamic range, and disc free gaming. So, that's a biggie. Um, so basically the one terabyte, you have to subtract the data. The original S is not that great. When you take 512 gigabytes, you gotta subtract the data. That makes it 364 of storage for your games and apps. With one terabyte, it goes down to, I believe, 805, 8... I'm gonna just say 8 on 800, which is way better than 364. So keep that in mind, but let's get this unboxed. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, here is the console. Let's take this out. Here's the console, power your dreams. Let's put that over here. You get the accessories here which what comes with the game, with the console, is high-speed HDMI. I don't know if you guys could see that. Which I do have an HDMI right there, which I use with my regular one. That might be high-speed too, but I'm going to use the one that comes with it, um, just because. Then you get this, which tells you all the ports. Uh, you have the Ethernet port, uh, USB port, HDMI port, storage expansion, which with the S being at 364, I've said this, that you needed to get a, a Seagate driver. You could get one of those off-brands, but the off-brands plug into the USBs, and those you have to keep transferring games. Then we get this, the controller, which is really cool, which I have a controller. So honestly, I might just put this on display and use mine. Let's take a look here at this controller here. Ooh, it actually feels good. Like, the, um... The finish here, it actually feels really good to hold, like a nice grip here. My Xbox One is a special one that I bought, but I can compare it anyway. It's a special one. This is not the original One controller, which I do not know where that is, so I apologize. Here are the comparisons. I like the D-pad, how it's all filled in. Pretty cool. You got that Xbox Share button, which the original one does not have, but I have it on mine. But it's a very cool controller. Like I said, it feels good. Nice grip. Nice uh, feeling on the triggers. Very cool. And it comes with a battery pack, but also you could plug it in, which they do have. Where is it? In the bag. We got batteries, which is cool because that's the thing. The batteries always don't last. So let's just get this off. This is pretty cool. Let's do this. Wow. All right, let's take a look at this. This actually looks a lot better in person. Uh, so you got a USB here, controller syncing, I think that's what that is. And then the button that's actually a button, it's not a uh, like the Xbox One. So here is, oh come on focus, here is my Xbox One. This is the main console of this channel for seven years. Pretty cool to get an upgrade, which, wow. Just take a look at that. The Series S is supposed to be standing up like that. I'm gonna go over the setup. Here's the power strip. I gotta get this here. It's very nice than having the Xbox One block here. Plug it in like so. And then in the back of the console right there. And then you got the HDMI you gotta plug in too. This is life right now. I gotta scoot around. I'm actually one month in a few days ago. So I got two more months of this recovery. So that's pretty cool. HDMI out, the cord could go in, I don't know what HDMI that was in, turn the console on, there we go, it turns on everybody, 
Very cool. Now, I'm assuming I could just press this button, but I think I have to press this button and that sync button. I don't know, let's try. That was it. English, United States, choose a connection. Good, we're connected. United States. Let's update. Alright, so I'm updating now, which is only 1.3 gigabytes. Let's talk about the reviews while we're waiting. Well, like I said, I think that the one terabyte is worth it because if you spend three, when you buy the console, you can find the Xbox Series S under 200, but you know, from the you know, the officials, they have bundles that you can get for 250, 290. Let's say we get the, the, this one bundle that I was going to get before I knew this was coming out. It's a bundle, you get like $30 worth in content, but it was um, $269. I think with tax it came out to like flat, flat $300. Um, and then if you add another $100, uh, $200 for the drive, because you can get an off-brand drive for $50, but like I said, I mean, you'll get more storage, but you'll have to keep transferring games. That's what you call a budget. That's that's a lot cheaper than this. But I felt like because this is also new, I mean, it's not new. It still does the same as the Series S. I just felt like the more storage, I could also buy as well another storage. Because that's the thing. If I get the other storage, you know, it would be its own thing where the games were on. If you get the Seagate drive, it adds storage to the console itself. I still think one terabyte is low because a lot of games today and the newer games that are coming I cannot wait to see what Forza Motorsport that's coming out in October I cannot wait to see what the storage of that game is going to be I mean Forza Horizon 5 is what 120 gigabytes so I'd like to see if it's maybe more or the same it's like games are getting higher we are 89% complete we're in here level up your gaming experience when you share optimal data okay you could just skim through all this stuff. You found the settings from your last Xbox. Awesome! Use instant sign-in. Uh, make this my home Xbox. We see you have an Xbox home already. This is my home Xbox now. Here we go. Is Game Pass Ultimate one month for $17. I actually am 500 something points shy of getting 12,000 points on Microsoft Rewards. So I'll be able to get one month of Ultimate. So I'm going to say no thanks to that. Let's go. You're all done setting up your console. Time to play. Let's see what the home looks like. Here we go. Look at that really cool background. That, that's very sick. If I go to my games... Okay, so now, Police Simulator. I want to see if that comes up. Yep, I can install that. Lego 2K Drive. This is the edition I own. Manage, you own this. Oh, to install. Um, that's for Xbox One, but I'm going to install this one. This is for the Xbox Series X and S. So currently... I have 743 gigabytes left. Oh, here, it actually shows all my games here because of the... Ah, oh, I should have just did this instead of going to the store. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop them likes, subscribe, and stay tuned for... Uh, I cannot wait till Payday 3 comes out. Peace out. See you guys later. Greatest console unboxing, I believe. <laughs> The Xbox Series S Carbon Black 1TB console. <laughs>